Hey, how are you? Hey, Trey with Fandango. Hey, Trey. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So you and Niels had a, had a pretty good run. You guys make a pretty good partnership here. We do. You know, well, so I hope so. Well, ask me again after yeah. after Comic Con. Well, look, <laughs> one Comic Con's down. You know, so so far we got a we, we got we got one out of one. That's right. We got, we, we got to see after 100 today. Hundred percent's good. Hundred percent's yeah, good, good. You know, let's see what happens to let's see what happens after the screening tonight. Now, does does Neil uh, put you through the ringer like he did with District Nine? Because boy, he you had to really. Yeah, he. Yeah, look, he District again, Nine. He, he does. He does not as badly, but there is definitely and honestly now, like, because I know you're joking, and I, this part I'm not joking. There is a part of him that he actually likes to kind of see me suffer, but he sort of finds he knows it amusing. You can. No, he sort of finds it amusing. Like, I'm wearing a suit. I'm wearing this massive contraption, which you'll see in the footage today, for a fight sequence with 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 Matt. And it's heavy. Like they had designed this thing, it was just too heavy. It was too heavy for us. It was very, very heavy. And I sort of, when they put it on the first day, I was like, dude, this is, this is too heavy. Like I was looking at Neil, I was like, I, you know, I don't complain. But I'm just telling you, this thing is heavy. And he just got, <laughs> you know, and just giggled and kind of walked off. And thankfully, the props guys at Weta were like, okay, they were finding ways to cut stuff off and like drop because they were all worried. They were like concerned. Now, you know, the shelter's not happy that it's heavy. But Neil was like. You know, Rolling. He thought it, yeah, he thought it was funny. He, he thought it was funny. I hurt my back actually during the sequence. Oh. I, I, you know, because of the because of the weight of it. And so one day I'm like, dude, I don't I don't know if I can come in. He's like, you know that that Matt hurt his back and he's here. They're like wheeling him around in a chair, right? I'm like, dude, I can't move. I can't get up. Like I can't stand. You know? He's, he was like, oh, okay, all right, come tomorrow. Five more minutes in this, and I'm gonna tackle yeah. you with it on. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, this, this is all true. Yeah. Well, now I'm really excited to see it. You know, I was excited before, and I just amped it up even more for me. Cool, man. Yeah, that's cool. I'm glad my injuries yeah. excite you. Not the injuries. Yeah. Just no, no, no. What it's the cool. hell that you went through. It's cool. Yeah, no, there was some hell. It definitely was, but it was it was worth it. It was fun. Yeah. Um, the the theme of this film, uh, boy, it sounds like a lot of stuff that you know America or the United States is going through right now yeah. with our immigration issues. Yes. Yes. Uh, what's uh, did Neil have? Just is that, those are things that, that really inspire him or touch him or. Yeah, I mean, I you know you'd have to speak to him more about that. I knowing him as I have over the years, I've just found him to be somebody who likes making entertaining films first and foremost. And your choices really are like rehash something that's been done and right. try and do it in a sort of different way, rehash it in a different way, or draw inspiration from real life. And yeah. he tends to do that. I like to do that with characters when I can. I was fortunate in working with him in this case that I could. So I do the villain in this movie. I do it as a type of South African with an accent and things that you've never seen before, that you've never heard before um, in, a, in an international film ever. So that's just, you know, um, sort of, I suppose, a unique approach to it. It's not, I'm not creating a character based on various movie characters Which that I've seen. And he's not creating a movie based on various movies that he's seen. He's taking design elements from things. Or I'm taking, you know, performance styles or whatever from, from other films. But really the heart of the film and the heart of the character comes from real life. Originality in filmmaking. Yeah, wow. Go. What? I now. mean, what a concept. There you go. Yeah. Hey, thank let's you very see, much. Let's see if it works out. Yeah. You know, he's selling it now. Let's see later. <laughs>